Greetings to everybody from Mentis. Welcome back to Let's Play Paper Flavio, the Thousand Year Door. In the last episode, we continued through more of the Pit of 100 trials, going from floors, uh, well, actually, just reaching floor 80, which gave us something truly magnificent. A little badge called the Bump Attack Badge, which is what I've been seeking for so long, what I've been desiring for so long. So now what we're actually going to do is, because we have that, I'm actually going to get rid of a lot of these in-battle badges that I don't need right now because of the fact that I have the Bump Attack Badge. I have the Bump Attack Badge, meaning that just... Well, just everything becomes easier, really. I don't really have any use of any badges, really. Badges are mostly useful inside battle, but... I am... Nothing else really outside battle. Yeah, so I'll just hold on to these, everything like this for now. So what is that we're going to do is now that I have the bump attack badge equipped, my first stop is actually going to be going to, um... Nope, you can't hurt me, fool. And actually, I pawn it, I equipped the chill out badge just in case, like, projectile attacks don't get bump attacked. But no, with a bump attack badge, we can. Check this out. You're dead. We just walk through people. We don't have to give a shit anymore, which is fantastic. Which is going to really help in our treasure hunting, which means I can actually... No, uh, no, I do want... Yeah, I'll switch over uh, to Miss Mouse. Uh, before it is that we go back to where we were going, which is going to be Far Outpost, because we have that guy who had the, who made the graffiti on Floor 50. If anyone doesn't remember, he was our Trouble Center quest to get to Floor 50, pit of 100 trials in order to... Erase the graffiti, which we did that. But before we go to him, there's just something here that I want to take care of. So, between last night when I recorded and now... Oh, hey, Pennington, what's up? Oh. Orange, or no, rather, I mean, Mario. How are you, dear boy? Ha! Huh. That's right, it's Mario. Remember the name. Also, where was the positioning of this? I believe it was... Yeah, that looks to be right about here. Yeah, goody. So what I'm currently doing is... Between yesterday's recording session... What am I doing? I don't need to go up here this way. Between re today's recording session and now... Between yesterday and today, I quickly looked up, like... Because I legitimately had no idea where these shine sprites were going to be. And apparently, I missed one in here. Now, thankfully, I don't have to worry about any of these guys, because I just walk right through them without giving a damn. Good, come at me, bros. Oh, don't interrupt my jump, you assholes. There we go. So apparently, there's actually, I somehow missed this when it was over we here before. There's only one other that I possibly know of. There was only, cause that one I was pretty sure certain about that I managed to somehow miss. The other one, I don't know if I got. That's the, it's the only other one I can think of, but we'll worry about that one as we get, actually get to that chapter. What this is going to be, what these next couple of bonus episodes are going to be, by which I mean today and tomorrow's episodes, 96 and 97, are going to be treasure hunting. We're going to go talk to What's-His-Face in Far Outpost to let him know we finished his... finished taking care of his problems. God, like any RPG character, we have to take everyone else's problems. And then we are going to... Sup, Koopa Patrol? I met your darker brother. That sounded bad, but what I mean is that I managed to kick your... Uh, darker counterparts, I guess. And yet he wasn't the most terrifying thing down here. It was actually really the badge bandits that scared the crap out of me. But yeah, these guys are of no threat. So, bump attack is really useful. And I do like, though, because I thought about between last time and now, that the one star point per battle thing when isn't too weak actually makes a lot of sense. It's like you're waste you're gonna waste a minute of your time to try and take down uh, these guys are so much weaker than you. You might as well get something out of it. Uh, okay. So I don't care. Yeah, sure, I'll take a mushroom. Why not? Okay, so now we want to switch back over to Dustin. We need Dustin because we are going to go and try and hover it over to Far Outpost. I, and this is great. I love that I, knowing I have the Bump Attack badge now. It just feels really good because it means that I can just... I can just say screw everything. Come on, Dustin, run me through. Run me through this. 
We don't have to give a shit about anything along the way. Because we are overpowered for everyone. Everyone just dies at the touch of us. See? We don't have to care. There are no obstacles in our way. The only thing that's possibly a risk is... If anything has projectiles, I don't know yet how that works. But projectile enemies are few and far between, so I don't think I'm going to have to worry about that much, especially with where we're going to be going. We're not going to be going to chapters 5, 6, or uh, 7. Oh. You erased it, Shashloom. Oh, Shashloom. I am so grateful to you. But it is not like I can confirm whether you actually erased it or not, Shabu. Oh well, I guess it will, I will just trust you. Shashakadi. Take this reward, Shapow. This team made it for me when I told her how much I was missing the snow. Shafoom. Snow bunny. Oh. Well, that's freaking useless. Hooray, we solved the trouble, meaning we have now solved. The trouble center is now 100% complete. Good. While we are here, here's the item shop. I just want to quickly see if they have available... They do not have life shrooms. Just because while we were down in the pivot 100 trials, I... Um... Oh! Nicely done, Flavio! Flavio managed to perform the Blue House glitch from the first Paper Mario. Um... But no, uh... Like, while we were in pivot 100 trials, I realized how badly I need of life shrooms, because... While Mario can probably survive a while, partners might not. And I don't want them eating away at my life shrooms in the event that... Mario does die. So I probably want, like, at least five life shrooms for when I next tackle the, um, Pivot 100 Trials. The question is, though, I have no idea where it is I, where to buy life shrooms, and I probably should have looked that up before starting this episode, but... Hindsight's 50-50! And I'm sure no one's getting sick of that joke right now. Okay, so what the hell are we going to do? Um, you know what, let's start out, since we're already over the gap... I could start out going uh, to Boggly Woods, but I'm going to start out actually going through Twilight Town, I feel like. I feel like Twilight Town's a good place to start since it's right here. You can just dive right in, and it's the place we've actually explored the least, because if anyone remembers when we were here, I just bolted through everything, not giving a, not giving any craps about uh, like secrets and such. I just got the plot over with as quickly as possible. Aha, there's some kind of a secret here. I get the feeling it has to do with the item shop. Is there an item I left behind back here? I don't know, let me see. Oh, this place sells life shrooms! Oh, well that's certainly fortunate. Okay, so it's not something particularly here. Okay, but it is over in this area. Unless is it behind the sign here? Oh! Was that it? That was it. Okay. But whatever. How much do I have? I have enough for five. Okay. We're going to buy just a bunch of life shrooms real quick. Also, I want to... Um, how much can I get? F I, I appreciate the gift, dude, but... Like, a snow bunny I don't need. 15 HP buff freeze you. That, is, that would be so useless to me. Like, I'm wasting like three turns. I'm just going to lose that HP immediately. In coupon. I'll quickly use that at the end that's here. Uh, mushroom I don't need. Uh, gradual sh soup I don't need. So I'll take that extra money. Uh, let's see. So I have two life shrooms. Five jam and jellies. Five ultra shrooms. I get five life shrooms. Actually, I could probably have ten life shrooms, really. I'll just buy a bunch of these for right now. And on my, I'll probably stay at the end and then on my way back. I'll go ahead and buy the rest of them. That way I'll have a full eight types. Let's see. Okay, so yeah, now I have five, five, and five. Mm, meteor meal. That's kind of useless to me. But I appreciate that Zesty made it for me, so I think I'll do is I'll just store that one. Uh, meteor meal, because I have no use of it. At least not... With what we're going... The next fights we're going to be doing are going to be the Pivot 100 Trials again. And I am not going down there with weak healing items. Uh, nope. Uh, let's see. What am I, like, storing? Like, what else do I have stored here? Nothing useful. Okay. Okay. So, I'll just... Oh, wait, no. I sh 
I would stop there. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is we're just going to quickly make a stop at the inn, which I believe is right here, is it not? No, it's not there. Um, so there's really nothing else around. The inn coupon was it. I mean, I appreciate at least it's going about it's about to give me a full heal for free. So I mean, not that really matters. As soon as I get the rest of these life streams, I'm freaking set. Yeah. As soon as I get these uh, la other four life shrooms from this shop, I my items are going to be exactly as they are for the rest of the series. Um, oh, right. Uh, Peachy Peach. I can store that. Why not? So... Yeah, but this is both a treasure hunting and a preparing. Because you do still have the rest of the Pit of 100 Trials to do. We still have that bottom 20 floors. Which I, which I first have to get back to floor 80, which will be fun. Okay, let me just quickly, I'll quickly store this. Peachy Peach is useless, but I'll store it. Okay, let's go ahead and... You're gonna give me something, aren't you? Uh, ice Storm. Can I store that, please? Store. Ice Storm. No, I'm good, thanks. I just thought of something, actually. Oops, not what I wanted. Okay, so my inventory is now full. I just saw of something. Huh. Buying 300... I'm not counting that towards 100%, no. That's way too much. I mean, that just be buying and selling and buying and selling and buying and selling. That would be... That would be true grinding, RPG grinding, that I am not willing to do. And you don't even get anything for it. Just three gold bars. Woohoo. Whatever, let's just move on to our treasure hunt now. We don't need to worry about any other items. We don't really need to worry about anything, truthfully, because everything here is just going to die. Oh! What? There's some... What? Where's our secret? It's higher up here? Where the hell is it? What? Oh, dang it. I didn't mean to go into the load zone, damn it. What is he? Oh. Oh! Cool! That is actually really well hidden. I did not notice that at all. I thought it was like seeing through the shed itself. Okay, so there's nothing else here. I'll just break that open real quick. I know there's nothing there, but still, might as well. No secrets in this room, so we can just keep on moving. It is, it is kind of cool, though, that you only get coins in the single star point if you do battle them. It's like, it gives something for your efforts, but if you're not willing to fight them, we ain't giving you crap, which I can understand. Getting something for nothing is kind of stupid, so... Oh, wait, wait, no, 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 any secrets? There are not. Okay, let's go ahead and go back then. All's good. It's all good. We all good. Okay. So, I believe this is... No? No? Okay. So, no secrets here. Oh, yeah. And I don't even think... I don't know. I actually don't know. Would an Amazing Daisy give us anything at this point? I doubt it. No secrets here, either. Huh. So I guess I did get it. Okay, I think I'm going to be having to go to Merle then, because I have no idea. Oh, there's a secret somewhere around here. Oh, wait, some back here. Okay. Where is it? Oh, back here a little bit? Where is this? Uh, Miss Mouse, where are we supposed to be going? He's saying it's right here, but... Still here? Okay. Oh! Okay. Really random hidden block, okay. 
Hooray! Oh, there's still some else here. What is there, huh? It's over that way. Okay, so we just need to... That's right, hop down here. Oh, nope, that's not right. We go... I forgot for a moment there how this works. We go down this way. Well, it's just there. Still over this way. Out of my way, Cleft. Oh! Okay. So cool. So cool! That's all the Shine Sprites now. That's good. Okay, what else do we got around here, huh? Something on... Oh, jeez, and this is a little bit more of a wide open... Oh! Uh, hello? 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 Is it behind the fence? I'm guessing it's behind the fence. A star piece! Good! What does that leave us with? Twelve left. Twelve star pieces left in total. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna be needing to go back to, a uh, Merle for all these. It wouldn't be on an angle like that, would it? That'd be weird. Okay, so it's up this way. Okay, is it up this way? Okay, so it's still nearby. Oh, we've gone further away from it now, okay. Oh! Okay. A single coin. That's cool. I don't know why I rolled up to do this, but whatever. I don't have to worry about- oh, I don't have to worry about any of the buzzy beetles. Cool. What's up, dude? Let's see, nothing there, okay. <laughs> I am Mario. Mario? I am Mario, destroyer of everything. They just came at me and I just... Damn, I just destroyed them all. <laughs> Bye, Flavio. Oh, hi, Flavio. Oh, that was funny. That looks really great. I like that. All right, Miss Mouse. Nope, nothing here either. Okay. Just continue on. We just need to make sure we explore every area. Okay. Nothing in this room. Hi, Flavio. How are you doing? Okay. I just want... We are going to make sure that we explore every part of... Oh, yeah. What's this dude saying now, I wonder? Dupla stuff me here and ran off. Somebody let me out of here. Oh, I give up. Oh, there's a secret right here. Yeah. Eleven left. Any other secrets in here? Nope. Okay. Good. Good. I like this. We're slowly getting there, guys. We're slowly getting there. We've almost got chapter four 100 percented. Anything in here? Nothing in here? Okay. Let's just pop on up. Anything in here? Nope. Um, let me check. Uh, two places I can check, I think. And I will check in this little hidden room first. See if there's anything in here. I doubt it, but... Wait, there is! How did I miss this? Let me back there. Let me... Hello? Let me back in there. There it is. How did I miss that? It's sparkling and glowing. Re really? How did I miss that? I don't... I don't understand how I managed to miss that. I feel stupid now. I feel really stupid that I saw... Um, guys? Hello? I'm all alone. Where are my partners? Whoa, where are my partners? Is this a glitch? This mouse... Flavio... Where is everybody? Oh, thank goodness they're back. That was weird. That was really weird. I don't know what happened there. Just, they left me. Is that... Is that a glitch with that hole? Like, after you've beaten Chapter 4, does that, is that a known glitch or something? Is it just gonna... Yeah, this is just gonna be because of the gold leaf, isn't it? It's just gonna be... Hey, there's a gold leaf over here you can get that you don't really need. Yeah, so I'll just throw it away and let it fade from existence. Five, four, three, two, one. Why is it not fading? That's all she's freaking out about, isn't it? Okay, well, you know what I can do, actually? Because I want to get rid of it. Now you go away, you son of... Okay, here's what I'll do. 
Okay, here. It does nothing for me, but I'll just use it anyway, just to get rid of it. Give me back my life. Thank you. Okay, so nothing else in here. Good to know. That's great. Alrighty. So let's go and see if there's anything up in Dupless's room. Oh! Dang it. I was over there anyway. I should have, uh... I should have used my head. But thinking's hard, guys. I don't, uh... It's like... You actually have to process things and calculate. Nobody likes that except me. Seriously, no one likes when I give them random math problems. It's like, hey, what's 84 divided by 9? It's like, oh, I know that's 9.333333, but no one else is even willing to attempt. They're like, ew, math, get away from me. Like, seriously. I don't know. What other random math problems can I come up with? Dividing by nine is like... Have I mentioned that on this at all? That dividing by nine is like... One of the easiest numbers to divide by? Like, I don't know. Let's... Let's go ahead and take a triple digit number. Let's go ahead and take, um... 491. Yeah, 491. So, let's go... Okay, whole numbers, whole numbers. Nine, uh, four, so 45, so that's 50. That leaves 41, that's four, so 54. Uh, that's 41, 36, so that leaves five left over. So any whole number less than nine, divide by nine is gonna be that number as a decimal, as a repeating decimal. So in this case, it would be 54.55555555555555. And you can look that up in a calculator and it's going to give you 44, uh, sorry, 54.5 repeating. It's a very simple number to divide by. It makes every... Uh, until this, you get, like, a decimal divided by nine. That is, well, any decimal divided by anything just kind of sucks, really. Anyway, so... With my ramblings about math done, since I was just mindlessly walking around while rambling about math and my love for basic arithmetic, um... With that out of the way, uh, we're done with chapter four. Um. What the hell? Can I, like, do that again, please? Can I, like, please do that again? Ah, oh, that was so cool. You guys saw that, right? Mario was moonwalking. I wish I hadn't... St because I need to get out from behind a tree, and it took me too long to realize what I was witnessing. Oh, man, that was cool. Oh, this game has... It's solidly programmed, but, like, fun little aesthetic glitches like that are fun. Okay, die, die, and die. You guys were annoying back in Chapter 4. Back, like, I don't know, what were they? 60 episodes ago? No, less than 40 episodes ago, I think. Yeah, they were annoying back then. Kind of like how I'm still annoying now. Ha <laughs> ha! Um. You no, know, with chapter 4 done, though, what I think I'm going to do next is... We already know chapter 1 is 100% completed. We don't got to worry about chapter 1 at all. Uh, so I think we'll do next is we'll go to chapter 2. Chapter 3 isn't going to have... Actually, I know what we can do next. I have ignored her pretty much this entire Let's Play. So I think it's time to give Madame Flurry her level up. It's, let's, just, let's just be nice. Let's just, let's just give Madame Flurry the level up that she's been waiting for while everyone else has been happily ultra level and shit. Just be nice. Dustin, take us to uh, Merlin. That's where we're going to. Yes, I'd actually think about it. We have our final shine sprites. We have the last character we need to upgrade. Sub, dude. Power up Flurry at long last. What move does she even get? Doubt it's anything I'm gonna ever gonna use. I mean, I never use her. Where are the odds of her actually getting a move that's gonna be super useful in the Pit of 100 Trials? None. Man, Flurry's so useless. <laughs> okay. Uh, then you may go forever. 
You have no partners whom I can power up. Alright, let's see. What do you got? Dodge... Oh, whoops. No! Check moves. Dodgy fog. Make dodgy for our time, so folks... Like I said, useless. Okay. So, what we'll do then is... I will drop down and we can go through Bogway Woods. Specifically, the beginning parts of Bogway Woods and the Great Tree. We don't need to go through, like, the rest of Bogway Woods. We already went all the way out there to Madame Flurry's house and saw everything there. Uh, I'll, so I'll do as I'll do my... What has been wrong with my tablet lately? It's been flickering and it's been bugging me. I don't like it. It has me worried and shit. See, I could go... I could go to the blue pipe, but because I want to make sure that I see the uh, opening part of it as well. Okay, let's go ahead and test this real quick. <laughs> Projectiles do nothing. Okay, so that's good to know. Projectiles also, they kill. So basically, anyone who attacks me is committing suicide on the spot. Cool. And basically, any place outside of the Pit of 100 Trials is useless to me. Like, I'm I'm pretty sure I'm powerful enough now that any enemies in the Palace of Shadow aren't going to be able to do anything to me. No secrets here. Okay, good to know. Let's see. Anything here? Oh, imagine had I come through here with the bump attack to help that one toad. Jeez, that would have been so much easier. Goodbye. Good, keep chasing after me, all of you. Just welcome your deaths. Okay, so now we're going back to my favorite place in the whole game, the Great Tree. Well, at least this one's got a one-up on Great Deku Tree, because it's actually still alive. Oh, the dude's still here. I was seriously expecting him to be gone. Okay, yep, so everything in the Bogley Woods is taken care of. Now we just have to explore the Great Tree real quick, which should not take long. It's not a huge area. It's just a bunch of back and forth, really, was the issue with it. Nothing here. Okay, sup? You two having fun? Yeah, cool. Okay. Yay. And the entire time we're here, the music is going to be this. Oh, there is a secret around here. Cool. Cool, I was a Okay. That puts us at, what, 11 left? 9 left? I didn't... Oh, jeez, I didn't realize I got that many. We are getting so close. Like, holy crap, we are getting really close now. Any secrets in here? You know what? I might let this episode go on a little bit longer so that I can finish exploring this place because this is, like, the last place we have to actually explore. So, aside from maybe the moon... I let this episode go on just a little bit long and change my plans for the next episode. What the hell? These without getting locked in. Okay, we have a secret. We have a secret. Okay, so it's somewhere in here, I'm guessing. Aha, yes. Where did Flavio go? Whoa. Oh, man, they weren't counting on Flavio existing in there. That's cool. I like that. Nothing in here. Do you remember Miss Mouse? That's where we met for the second time. Uh, trip down a romantic memory lane. I mean, what? I don't have a thing for Miss Mouse. Shut up. It would have been kind of funny if all of a sudden... <laughs> Can someone make a mod in this game? And, like... Set it up so if you do the Flavio Gillich, there's a little Flavio counter, and like if you leave him behind, it just go flashes zero of one. That'd be so stupid and pointless and annoying, really, but it'd be entertaining for the first few seconds. Okay, nothing in here. Good, let's move on. What the hell are you just doing here, Flavio? This place is great for witnessing Flavio antics, apparently. Nothing in here. Okay, so there's nothing over that way, so we'll just hop on down. I don't like that I'm not finding anything else. Oh, hey, Buniper, what's up, dude? I'm not tagging these episodes. And they've come up with ominous. And they all said hi. I guess they aren't all bad. Hashtag not all jabbies. Okay, still treasure somewhere over here. Okay. Oh, is it right here? 
No, uh, here. Is it, is it up? Where are you going, Flavio? What are you doing? What is wrong with you, Flavio? I'm curious now. Actually, I guess... Yeah, I guess I'll call an episode here. Join me next time when we're going to find the rest of the star pieces and possibly get started on something I wasn't planning on doing until episode 98. But hey, if, if it wants to start an episode early and we can just not have to worry about rushing through it so much, then that's fine by me. But until then, this has been Mentis. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Adios!